Well, greetings everyone, Tom Riddle, the fixer is here. So, this is annoying, right? So let's go fix it. It's, it's actually really easy and I don't want to waste your time. So, you just need to buy USB 3.0 hub. Yeah, that's it. And to be super crystal fucking clear, you need to plug all the Oculus USBs into that hub then plug that hub to the PC. Make sure it is in your 3.0 USB slot. Yes, fam, the blue one is 3.0. The gray is 2.0. I tried a lot of different solutions, but this is the only one that's worked for me. And also, this was the last thing what I was uh, willing to try. I'm, I'm kind of cheap guy, so I really tried to avoid to buy anything. So just for education purposes, I'm gonna tell you what I tried before. Don't laugh. So first, I try reinstall Windows, then install different Windows, then install back my previous Windows. Of course, I make sure it's fully updated. Does it help? Nope. Then I try reinstall Oculus software and install it on different driver. Does it? Does it help? Nope. <laughs> then I found some smart ass advice to go to the fucking BIOS and switch this USB whatever on enable. Does it work? But well, try the goddamn gas. Finally I found another great advice to update every driver like my motherboard, graphics card etc. So I download this program called Updater and I run a scan and he found a lot of outdated drivers. So I was like, fuck you, yeah, we'll update that shit. I thought it is free. There is a big green free button, but nope, it's only free download. So after you do first scan, the message popped up like, buy a yearly license, please. <laughs> uh, fuck that. Well, in trial, you can actually have one update for one PC for free. Free. So now everything in my computer is fully updated, but does the VR work? No. By the way, every time you turn on your PC, be aware that this fucking updater show up with, with little friendly reminder like, hello, I'm just checking if your PC is updated. If I found something outdated, you can buy a yearly license. Uninstall that shit immediately. But don't worry fam, there is a happy end. And I don't wanna only like shitting on those advices. Maybe maybe you own USB hub and the only thing you have to do is just update the drivers or switch that shit in BIOS. But for me, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, after all that shit I just buy the cheapest USB hub and that did the trick for me. Now I see that you are a little confused. There is a big decision in front of you. Should I leave a like? But I don't own hub yet. Hmm, don't know if that's going to help me. Hey, calm down fam, I got you. Why don't you just subscribe? Then you can always go back and leave a like later and write comment like Thank you Tom, thank you, you're the best, uh, it worked. Thank you, fix my video, thank MVP Tom. <laughs> Fam, you're welcome. I'm here to serve. And who knows, maybe you don't cancel that subscribe. Uh, I'm planning some DK2 review in 2020 and something like top 5 games for DK2. So yeah, enjoy my shitty content in your YouTube feed, I guess. Not really, thank you for watching, I hope this video helped you and good luck. I mean, you don't need luck, now you got knowledge. So see you soon. And write me a comment if, if that really solved your problem. Thanks, bye, bye.